Okay, so we're here with the After Action Report for the D-Day Worldwide Challenge that we did. It was done by Chris Goddard of Victoria and Riskini helped out with that. We have Rob and Mark here that fought out the battle for us. And, uh, well, how did it go? Uh, I mean, there were some heroic moments, weren't there? But it went very, very badly. It did go very, very badly <laughs> in no, the no, end. No, 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 it went really well. Almost okay. a plan. <laughs> right, okay. So, yes, eventually in the end, the British managed to stream across the bridge, and they got here, and there was a heroic fight where we named him Jack. He took Winston. Winston. No, Winston, oh, yes, Winston was first. Winston was first, and he held off the flamethrower team, didn't he? No. Yeah? No. Yep. Yes. Yes, he did, yes. He pushed them back. Yeah. He pushed them back. And then Jack heroically charged it after. Yeah, and finished them off. Finished them off, then ended up taking out the medic as well, yeah. didn't he? Yeah. yeah. And then finally he was taken down by the Hans, German. Hans, Hans came in. Hans. I thought his name was Otto. No, no that's the medic. That's the oh, medic. Right. Fair enough. Right. Right. So he was this close yeah. to the control tower and he was going to save the day for everybody. Wait, but you pulled the wrong dice. Yeah. I did. I pulled the wrong dice. I pulled German instead you of You pulled the perfect dice. It was just when I wanted it. Yes. Fair enough. Yes. I could get the assault <laughs> move in, yes. finish him off. Just yeah. how it should have happened, really. So, mentioning how it should have happened, John, <laughs> how did it happen? How did right. it happen? Okay. The Brits are on the wrong side of the bridge for a start. <laughs> <laughs> we figured that out afterwards, but yeah, it's too late. Yeah. <laughs> so what happened on the, the, the morning of D-Day after midnight, about 12, 12.13 a.m., just after midnight, the first glider troops came in, and it was part of the, the Ox and Bucks Regiment, the, the Glider Infantry Regiment. If we take this table as scaled, the first glider landed here, the second one here, and third one back. This infantry then streamed across, took the, the gun position that would have been here, streamed across the bridge and started to hold it. Because the whole idea was, as they, the forces came off the beachhead, they needed to get these bridges intact so they could move inland. And I just walk in the view. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry for interrupting. <laughs> what happened was that once the Brits had taken the bridge, the Germans realized there's something big going on here, so they started to mobilize against them. They didn't have Panthers. Hide that. Flamethrowers, <laughs> though. <laughs> but they had a significant force in the area, so they started to put pressure on the bridge, and the Paras, the, the Ox and Bucks Regiment, held the bridge until reinforcements arrived. Yeah. Probably at about midday. Yeah. So at midday, the uh, the British reinforcements turned up, and they were actually successfully able to capture and hold the bridge. Unlike today. Unlike today. Unlike today. Unlike today. <laughs> so we've rewritten history a little bit here. <laughs> yes. I don't know how it would work, but we'll, we'll see. But uh, Rob's got a perfect comment for his force on this one. Yeah, yeah. there's a bridge too far. Ah, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> well, thank you very much, guys. That was fantastic. Shake your hand on that. There we go. Yeah, thank you. It was a good game. Great. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> and we'll get on with the rest of the game for today. Right. Yeah.